Okay, today we're talking about the Husqvarna LC18 hand push mower. It's orange, Husqvarna orange. It's a hand push mower, as you can see, and you have to use your legs. It's a nice, neat little mower. Alrighty, let's have a closer look at it. As you can see, it's got nice sturdy wheels. It has dual ball bearing wheels on all four, which just gives you a bit more longevity and a nice smooth path. It's well set out. It's got a 18 inch deck or 460 mil. It comes in weighing at around 28 kilos, which is a nice light mower um, to push. It was made in Sweden, manufactured over there. You can see it's got the easy pull start at a higher thing, which is better for your back, and it's nice and easy to pull. You'll see it's got a height adjuster. The height adjuster is made of uh, steel, which is nice. Most of them are plastic and break off quite easily. These ones are great. It's got eight heights on it. Uh, the heights range anywhere from 16 millimeter up to 80 mil. Uh, you'll notice that it's a nice, smooth operating height adjuster. Um, it's not. It, it's not too heavy to lift up, and as I say, with the metal, it does help. It's got a nice cover on it that protects your flywheel where your starter cord is, that's your muffler. Uh, the muffler is actually designed to keep the noise down, takes unleaded fuel. So it takes unleaded straight fuel. There's your little fuel tank. It uh, takes up to 800 mil. It runs probably, you get about a good hour at least out of the tank. Um, and on this side you've got the oil. So that's your little dipstick. It's nice and easy. Just take one little turn to open it up. It's got the two notches for where your oil is. It just takes an SAE30 oil. Click it back on. Nice and easy. At the front, as I say, you've got the muffler. It's designed to keep noise levels down. And there you've got your spark plug. The spark plug's a champion QC127C. Available at most of your sort of workshops. There's your air filter, nice and easy to unclip, take off, clean, and clip back on, unless you're me and you do it like a Muppet. Ah, here we go, clippity-doo. It's not rocket science, it's just a patience thing. See the danger sticker? Keep your feet away from the back. Try and wear boots when you can, or your PPE. We'll just flip her onto her side, and we'll have a look at it. It's not recommended, but it's the best way to show you. So you'll see it's got a steel plate. And it has what's called four swing back blades, as you can see. They're just bolted in. They're nice and easy to replace, available at most of your mower workshops. Uh, they're set up to do mulching as well as catching. Um, and they don't tend to leave a lot of grass. Sometimes mulching's really good for your lawn, leaves a lot of moisture in it. As you can see, the cable runs up the side there. That's where you put your catcher on underneath. It's got quick release handles, unless you've done one of your bolts up on one side too tight and it's not so much quick release. As you can see, folds up. It's nice and easy to put in the boot of your car if you need to transport it anywhere. Um, most people just tend to have them as, at home, so... But yeah, we travel around a bit with it at work, um, but very rarely have to adjust the handlebars. That's probably one of the down points. The bolts do tend to come a little bit loose. So there's your wheel, your cable that runs from there up the side. It's got the protective clips to stop it getting caught on stuff. And it runs up to your control. So at the moment, as you can see, it's on stop. Next one's got a turtle. Then you push it away to the rabbit, which is obviously where you start it. It doesn't have a priming button. So you start it on the rabbit pull it away it's almost fail safe we've never had any issues starting it it's fantastic works really well it's got anti-vibration padding on the handles get a bit dinged up but overall it still does its job you tend not to have that feeling in your hands sometimes when you use mowers pushy do it's a good little unit 
Here we go. I'll put the catcher on. Hours of entertainment this is. I've tried many different ways. It's like you can see the edge around the catcher doesn't quite seal in. Um, so my way of resolving this is to get on the other side of the mower because I think it'll be easier. It's not. Toby's even lost interest watching me put the catcher on. Here we go again. Alright, so you'll see... It's a good little catcher. It's nice and light. Holds about 44 litres of grass. You're meant to just be able to pick that bit up, pull the handle up, clip it on. But it doesn't. You can see it just doesn't quite catch on. It's like the catcher's almost too long for it. And you've got to fiddle around with it. Give it a tap here and there. You can end up hurting your hand if you don't do it. It's highly frustrating. But watch and learn because I will get it. Perseverance. There we go. Tickety-boo. We have a catcher mower. Still frustrating. Alrighty, one pull, and she starts. Off we go. As you can see, the grass is not overly long. Um, and you can also notice that there's no catcher on it. There's no catcher on it because I fluffed around with it for a few minutes and couldn't get the catcher back on it, therefore we're not catching it. Uh, that, that's the downfall of this mower, is the catcher. The mower itself, I think, is a fantastic little unit. It's nice and light, you don't tire. Uh, we use it as a commercial mower. Um, and it's great, but the catcher is the down point. Fortunately, we don't have to catch. Um, I'll just give another recap on the mower. As you know, it's a Husqvarna LC18. 18 stands for an 18-inch deck. It has four swing back blades underneath, which works well for mulching and catching if you choose to use the catcher. It takes a 800 mil of unleaded straight fuel. Um, and then half a liter of oil so it runs as a four stroke motor to Briggs and Stratton 140 cc um, it's got eight height adjustments on it which work really really well so you start anywhere from 16 mil which is quite short obviously up to 80 mil which can give you quite a nice long cut it's got the anti-vibration handle padding which is really good so if you're tiring, your hands don't get that um, vibrated feeling at the end of the day. Oops, fell over. That was a tiredness from using the catcher. Whew, back up again. All good. Um, it, it takes a QC127C spark plug at Champion. You can just get any of your replacements, like your blades or your spark plugs if you need them at any of your mower places. Um, I'd, I'd recommend the mower. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. The catcher's the 2. Otherwise, it's a ripper. You're not going to go too far wrong with it. Um, they're easy to start, easy to use, easy to man manage with. You've got the fold-down handles. Um, it's a nice, easy start. It, it, it's, it's built for a residential basis, but does work very, very well under a commercial basis. Awesome. Well, I hope you like our little review on the Husqvarna LC18. Um, give us a like, that'd be awesome. Subscribe to our channel, even better. And if you've got any questions that I haven't mentioned about the mower, just hit us up below and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Great, have a great day. Bye.